Okay, I explain how to um, build the long tail. The thing you got to know. And this is gonna be your driving uh, handle. This string is uh, for gas. It's connected to, um, to this. Um, <coughs> now, okay, so starting from the front, get the handle. Then this, the engine um, mounting metal piece. It's got a uh, slot cut in the, um, the two. So you can move your engine uh, left and right. And now it's also when this was constructed, uh, I placed it on bolts. So you can, um, you take off the bolt, you would put washer if you need to lower the engine or if you use different engine. So you can lower it, you can add more washer to make it higher and you move it left and right with the slot. Yeah. Then you, okay, so you got your engine there. Uh, this drive shaft, this is a bolt. It's welded to the, well, this is what I call the drive shaft. It goes all the way to the end. It was made of multiple rod. Uh, I weld it all together. So now you connect this to the engine. You turn it. Uh, okay. You can take the propeller and turn it so it's faster. Now this is connecting to the engine. Let's right, we'll see it's connected. Then you get the lock nut. Well, anyway, you connect this and uh, tighten the lock nut. Now you got this. This is a piece of tube I cut and put the bolt. This is what I call the exterior tube. So this, it's a clamp, it holds the tube to this uh, um, iron thing. So this is connected to this, this thing. Uh, yeah, so this doesn't turn. This is the drive shaft is gonna turn in the middle. Of, now you got the it's a piece of wood with the hole. This is to hold the um, rope because uh, the drive shaft has got a rope cut and uh, wrapped like this. All the way inside of this tube, except for the wood. At this end and at the other end, I show you. Uh, it's got another piece like this. This wood I cut with an uh, axe and drill a hole. Uh, this is the um, what you would connect the uh, engine to the bolt. So this is a tube, it's the same tube as the rest of the thing, what it's got, uh, yeah, it's got a bolt, so the bolt doesn't move, the tube can move uh, free. So the tube, it makes it go up and down. I'm gonna show you how it works uh, later. Okay, so disconnected, this exterior. Now you got this, uh, all this base is to hold this thing into position.
This is just a tube uh, to connect this side, it doesn't do anything. So I got this clamp, and I got this uh, hose clamp. This works. <coughs> got another piece of wood here. The piece of wood you put with a hammer. This also got a bolt welded at the end to have the treads. Because if you try to um, make treads with a die, it's not going to work. So the propeller is threaded. I tap the propeller, put the bolt, and uh, yeah. So I tied all this and this and this one. Now to align the engine, you um, well, it's already once it's aligned, it's going to be fine if you don't touch it. But uh, you loosen the engine bolts, and then yeah, you loosen the bolts. You you tie this into the engine uh, shaft, and then the engine is going to place itself. And then you tie the bolts. So, uh, okay, I start up. Uh, if the engine starts, if the engine has a bad time starting, if you want to build your own long tail, it's because uh, the drive shaft is not aligned. Yeah. If the engine starts like first time, um, then you're going to be okay. So the way to install the engine on the boat, you uh, get some wood, you drill a hole. If you can see, it's got a hole all the way and this is screwed okay so I'm not gonna place the engine on the boat because uh, it's like too high and heavy I don't want to uh, mess with it so we got this uh, this hole is the same size as this one So this weigh uh, 65 pounds. We'll take this. And that's it. Now we can 